Hi there, this is Ken Tao, the director of MCAT programming from the Prospective Doctor team. In this video, we're going to discuss MCAT card strategies. The first strategy is reading MCAT-like texts on a regular basis. Most pre-medical students are not used to reading the texts that they see in MCAT cards passages on a regular basis. As a result, when they encounter these passages, they may find them difficult to comprehend. That's because often you're just used to reading your scientific textbooks. An easy way to deal with this issue is to read MCAT-like texts on a regular basis, and you can do this by going online and looking for websites with free articles that have MCAT-like text. And you'll definitely want to incorporate this as part of your study plan, so maybe you'll read two or three of these articles a week. The second strategy that I want to discuss is evaluate your approach and techniques. Usually when students complete an MCAT CARS passages, they'll go ahead and look at the solutions. What I want you to do is, before you read the solutions, is take note of which questions that you got wrong, right? Just look at the letters and be like, oh, I got question two wrong and question five wrong. And again, before looking at the solutions, I want you to go back and try to apply your approach and techniques to those questions that you got wrong. Because now that you're not under timed conditions, you have unlimited time to apply your approach and techniques. If under these conditions, you still cannot get the question correct, then there may be an issue with the approach and technique that you are using. And as you know, there are multiple ways that you can tackle cars passages and questions. So you may want to consider changing your approach and techniques until you find one that works for you. So the third strategy that I want to discuss is pacing. Pacing is a difficult uh, skill to learn for the MCAT car section. There are a lot of students who are doing practice passages in the section and they get to a point where they have maybe five minutes left, but still two or three passages uncompleted. And of course, that's not a great situation. So in order to avoid this issue, what you can do is, when you're doing MCAT CARS passages, instead of doing one passage at a time, do multiple passages at a time. Because this will help you with learning how to pace across multiple passages. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you will keep these MCAT CARS strategies in mind as you're preparing for the MCAT. If you have any questions for me, feel free to drop us a comment on this video or contact us at prospectivedoctor.com or medschoolcoach.com. Thanks for checking out that video. I hope you found it helpful. For even more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to check out our Prospective Doctor blog. And remember, if you need help through the MCAT with one-on-one -on -one private tutoring, Med School Coach has you covered.